This video is to show the procedure for checking and recording temperatures where medicines are stored. So it's very important to record temperatures as medicines may not work effectively if the temperature where they're stored is out of range. This video will show how to record a fridge temperature and a room temperature. Record the temperature daily on a calibrated thermometer. So when you're recording the ambient or the room temperature, then this is um, the thermometer we would use. If it's up high, you can obviously take it off the wall. Um, and this shows you what temperature it is now. This is the uh, form we use for recording the temperatures. This is located on the internet under pharmacy. Um, and so this can be printed out every month. So it's important to record the date, the time, the actual temperature, which is this large temperature at the top, in the top box. So that would be recorded here. And then on the left, you've got the minimum temperature, which needs to be recorded. On the right box, you've got the maximum that needs to be recorded. So those three temperatures need to be recorded on the form. After you've recorded them, it's important to then reset. So in the next 24 hours, when you come to record the temperature again, um, you'll have an accurate recording. So to reset, we just press this button here under the maximum and the minimum here on the left hand side. OK, so you need to then tick under reset, initial it. Now, if your temperature has gone out of range, so for a room that would be above 25 or below 10, then you need to record what you have done. So if the temperature is 25 or above, the first action you need to do is try and cool the area down. So you might do that by putting a fan there, opening a window if you can, and then recheck it in 30 minutes time. If it's still out of range, then you need to call pharmacy because they may need to change the expiry date on some of the drugs that you have stored. To record the fridge temperature, um, it's the same chart as the room temperature, but obviously it says fridge there, and the limits are between 2 degrees and 8 degrees Celsius. Fridge thermometer is again, will be a calibrated thermometer we do not use the temperature recording on the door of the fridges. We must use a calibrated thermometer. Sometimes these thermometers are kept inside the fridge. So if you don't see a thermometer on the outside, you may need to get the keys and open up the fridge to find the thermometer within the fridge. In certain areas, we use the Celsius monitoring system, but this is in specialist areas like theatres. If your thermometer is on the outside, it will say out and the probe itself will be within the fridge. If your thermometer is in the fridge, it will say in at the top left hand corner. Again, with the room temperatures, you're looking at recording three temperatures. So you're recording what it is now um, on the actual temperature and then minimum and maximum so here we've got 5.7 to 6.9 and that's been the range for the last 24 hours so you record the minimum here the maximum there and then you would reset these temperatures again so to reset it's just simply by pressing the button on the right and the button on the left You'll then need to sign and initial the form. And then if the temperature has gone out of range, you may need to do something. So if it's above eight, you'll need to inform the nurse in charge and then recheck the temperature in 30 minutes time. If it is still out of range, then you'll need to contact the pharmacy. And it's likely that you may need to take the medicines out of the fridge and store them somewhere else. Again, if it is below two degrees, you will need to check the temperature in 30 minutes time. And there again, you'll need to call pharmacy and let them know. 
Okay, but it's really important to record there whether an action has needed to happen. Ideally at the same time every day. Record on the log form that the area is actually closed that day. Hand over to the nurse in charge the next morning, unless the temperature is continually out of range and to a large degree, you would then need to contact the site practitioner who will then contact the on-call pharmacist. The copies of the temperature log are on the intranet. You go to the pharmacy homepage and medicines management and medicine storage and they'll be found there.